everyone, my name is Seabirdbrain and today we are talking about particles! Yay! So if there is one thing that people fear more than the null view at first in Harmony, it is the particle system. And honestly, I kind of get it. Like no matter what the software, particles are always that weird thing to tame and understand. Some of it makes sense and then some of it is just so confusing. But I finally decided to take the time and educate you peeps about the wonderful art of particles in Harmony. Yes, they're clunky. Yes, they're weird and honestly a bit on the older side, but you know, they're here, they're fantastic and I think they can be useful to your projects. So let's get started. And disclaimer, this is not a YouTube series about like how to make exactly a kind of particles. No, no, no. This is understanding how this engine works so that it can do whatever you want. Alright, so from sparkle unicorns to heavy rains to beautiful magic trails, let's get into the art of particling. Yeah, I just made that word up. Particling? Let's get to it! Now, if you've used Harmony for a bit, you've probably been told like, Oh, particles, it's easy, just take one of their like example and just make it your own. Well, yes and no. Like, that's what people have told me. I was like, okay, yeah, mm, let me go into the node library, get into the particle part, and like, okay, so if I want to make um, um, falling leaves, then I'm gonna take the leaves particles and... And yeah, leaves, okay, well, these are not exactly the leaves that I want and they're not falling like I would want. But it's okay, right? I'm just gonna go in the group and get it. Oh my god, what the heck is this? This doesn't make any sense. So then what I do, I disconnect it, I close it, and I draw the damn leaves falling, right? Well, no, today we're gonna learn, well, today in the next following weeks, because this is this is more than a one video, right, folks? We're gonna learn how these particles works and how they can be useful to you. So no, you can't just like take one and modify it that easily. Unless, of course, you know the basics. So that is what my series is all about. It's about understanding what the particle system is, how to make it work for you, and how to then modify the existing one. So in this series, week after week, I'm gonna show you bits by bits how to handle those pesky little particles, because after avoiding them for years, I really learned to love them and integrate them into my everyday workflow. So let's get to it. All right, so here's how I'm gonna break it up. I'm gonna introduce you to the system as a whole. Then we're gonna go bit by bit, color by color, talk about the planner region, the sprite emitter, the other modifier you can use, the composite, baker, and visualizer. We're gonna talk about that and after that we're gonna talk about how to integrate them in your scene. So let's get started. First, you need a basic particle system because, you know, I've been doing this for enough years that I can build it up myself, but I don't expect any one of you to be able to connect all of these nodes by heart. So instead of trying to build this on your own and trying to put them together, which is not that hard guys because it's color coded, all right? So this goes here and then this goes there. This will also goes here. The blue and the yellow, the yellow and the blue and then. You know, so it kind of makes sense, right? You can make it make sense. But I don't expect any one of you to understand that. So let's get started from the very basics, okay? So first, how do you create your particle system? Like I said, you can get the nodes one by one, but don't do that. And I know that Harmony 20 has got fancy new things to get some nodes. You don't want to do that either for particles, okay? We're going to go the old way. We're going to go to the node library, all right? In your node library, if you go to the side here, you have some categories. And oh, one of them is called particles. And not only is it called particles, you can also click on that triangle to make it even clearer. So you got basics, example, and modifier, all right? So basic is usually the basic stuff you need for a basic system. But also forget about that. Go to examples, where you're gonna find all the basic examples you can start from. And in modifier, it's all the little like adjectives that you can give to your particles. Do you wanna make them explode? Do you wanna make them bounce or something? This is where we're gonna go in a couple of days, okay? Not now. So let's go in examples. Find basic particle system and just bring it in your scene. So first I'm gonna get rid of that drawing. And I'm gonna bring in basic particle system. Boop. Gonna bring it here, connect it to my composite, and wham! You've got some little particles, that's great. And then if you go inside the group, because yes, the basic systems, they come in groups, you get the little thing I had from before, which is great. It's all stuck in a group, it's all amazing. So this is the systems we're gonna explore next week. This week, I'm just showing you a bit how to handle it. Basically, you have a region, this is where your things are created from, this is the node responsible to create your particles so it emits them. This is one of the adjective or like modifier that can modify the emitted sprite. This is just a composite for particles because you cannot connect them to a regular composite because they're just gonna like go through. <laughs> it doesn't work. You need this particle system uh, composite. Then it goes into the baker which kind of bakes your particles. So it's responsible for some of their settings. We're gonna see that later. And then it goes to the particle visualizer, which is very important because from all the particle nodes, it's kind of the only one that's able to go into like the real world. So if you get like a composite, because this is like the final step of your particles. You create them here into their other weird dimension and then poof, they can appear into the real world through the particle visualizer, who is responsible for mostly like the final look. 
um, of your particles. All right, so that's it for the basic system. Next week, we're gonna explore them in more depth. So, so stay tuned and see you later. Bye.